Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Oreo Truffles Valentine's Hearts. Okay, first let's start out with our ingredients. You need 24 Oreo cookies crushed into fine crumbs. I just put it in one of these big freezer baggies and beat it pretty much <laughs> until it became crumbs. Then you need 5 ounces of cream cheese softened, 12 to 14 ounces of white chocolate, um, either chips or I'm um, using this white bark. And then you need um, a little cookie cutter. I'm going to use this little tiny heart I got from Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of four. This was the smallest. And then um, just some sprinkles for top. Um, these are the sh red sugar sprinkles that I've been using. They're, they make um, just very cute little toppers. Okay, our first step is to line a baking tray with parchment paper. Then you're going to take your crushed Oreos and add it in with your cream cheese. And you're going to do this by hand. It is going to get messy, but it's just the best way to do it. Okay, go ahead and transfer your little mixture onto your baking sheet with parchment paper. And next, you're just going to um, smash that down. You want it to be about half an inch thick. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Next, we're just going to pop that into the freezer about 45 minutes. Okay, after those are out of the freezer, you can just go ahead and cut your little cookie triangles out. I used a very little cookie cutter, so I was able to make like 32 or something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put those back in the freezer 20 to 30 minutes. You really want these to be hard when you are dipping them in the white chocolate. Okay, everyone. These were in there for another 20 minutes. We're just going to do a little at a time and put them back in the freezer because you really do not want these to um, soften up. You really want them to be hard to dip them into the chocolate or you're going to have a big mess on your hands. I went ahead and took my white chocolate and melted it in the microwave. Of course, you do that in 30 second increments, stirring it because you just definitely don't want that to burn. So I'm going to take each of my little hearts, put it on the fork, and dip it in there. And on these, you do want to do two layers. So we're going to do all of these, the first layer, freeze them, and do them again. Okay, everyone, mine have all been dipped with the one time in the white chocolate. Now I'm going to go ahead and put those back in the freezer for about 20 minutes. Okay, I got those back out of the freezer. They were in there for about another 20 minutes. I melted the rest of my white chocolate. I'm just going to go ahead and put a second layer on. Okay, I started to do mine in just little groups of four, and that's not fast enough. So if you do it in groups of three, that way you can put the sprinkles on and they stick. This is my first one I did, and the sprinkles did not stick to it. It's already dried that fast. Okay, those are done. I poured the sprinkles on. Make sure you pour those on right away, like I said, or they won't stick. My son had a request for me not to put um, half of them with the second layer. He just thought the white chocolate there was enough with the first layer. So I left them like that, and they look really cute. Okay, these are nice and hard now. I'm going to see what our little taste tester thinks. Taste tester! Okay. I can't. Oh, I can't even taste it. Uh, Yummy. Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, everybody, have a great Valentine's Day, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.